Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Whiskey Six. It is so good to be back. I've been off for about a month. I uh, haven't put out any videos. It has been so crazy busy. Things have been nuts. It's been lightning speed for a month, but we are back. It's good to be back. I'm breaking out a really uh, cool bottle tonight to get things started back. Uh, this is a uh, bottle of Rare Character. I've heard a lot about Rare Character lately. Rare Character is starting to make some names on the whiskey scene uh, with the bourbon. I saw this, this was a store pick at uh, a place called Liquor at the Lake uh, down in, uh, I believe it was South Carolina. I was actually visiting a good friend of mine, Don Everhart, in North Carolina, but we were really close to South Carolina, so we traveled across the border. Um, Liquor at the Lake. This is Rare Character Single Barrel Series. This is a straight rye whiskey finished in an Amberon cast. This thing is six years, eight months old, and it's 112.4 proof. Uh, I have yet to have, uh, except for this, uh, any whiskey that was finished in Amberon cast. Um, we're going to give this a try here tonight. Again, this is special. Uh, this is a really different uh, breed here. So if you see one of these, try it out. I've had some different... Uh, I shared it with a friend down there when I opened up, a, a few friends I should say, and uh, there was descriptions like somebody said it was, you know, very cinnamon toast crunch on the nose and the palate, um, uh, finishes up really well with some rye. I also had uh, one of our friends said it tasted like mothballs, uh, you know, which I thought was incredible. Uh, one actually described it, I believe it was uh, a urine cake. Uh, like a, the, the, a urinal cake, like the little cakes. Uh, so, I mean, you know, that's obviously not going to taste great. Uh, we're going to find out here in just a minute. So, we got Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Mothballs, and Urinal Cakes. Uh, uh, piss Biscuits, whatever you call it, the little urinal things uh, that go in the uh, outhouses and, and other urinals. So, let's give this a try. Uh, as you can see, it took some work to get into this bad boy. I actually had to put a knife to it. Uh, it is some thick wax. Rare character, straight rye whiskey, finished in an Amberana cast single barrel series. So a store pick, again, from Liquor at the Lake. Good service down there. Uh, this guy, it's the first place I've ever been where the, he actually was letting me sample the store picks before I bought them. I thought that was amazing. I've never done that. I'm from Columbus, Ohio area, and uh, that was different. We don't get to go in and just have, you know, samples of whiskey before we buy it. But I thought that was super cool. Um, it was very good customer service. The guy down there would love to go back. Uh, so let's get this started. All right, rare character, uh, single barrel series. Cheers. Well, I tell you what, it definitely, uh, and this is why I bought this. When I bought it, I thought it was so unique. This is very unique. I would say get it. In my personal opinion, I know when I said mothballs and urine cakes or urinal cakes or whatever it is, that doesn't bring a good uh, you know, image or flavor to, to your mind, but I just think it smells like cinnamon toast crunch. Obviously a little rye, but that Amberana uh, cast really adds a different nose and flavor to it. Man, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Mm. I'll tell you what, graham cracker. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, rye, vanilla. I tell you what, I like it. I think it's very, it's very unique. It's not like anything you're ever going to try that I've ever tried. I've been trying uh, whiskey for a while. I've tried a few. Um, but uh, this is different. I like it. I personally like it. I don't think it tastes anything like mothballs or urine cakes. Um, but I could see where somebody would think... Uh, especially, you know, they just, it's different. It's got a different smell. It's got a different palette to it. Uh, and it's 112 proof. So uh, to me, I like it because of the uniqueness. Uh, it's, I'm not saying it's the best rye whiskey I have in the basement by any means, but I just think it's unique. Uh, and I think it's worth a try. So 
I would I would buy it again. So everyone check it out. Uh, in case you missed it, rare character single barrel series, straight rye whisk straight rye whiskey finished in an amber on a cask. Hopefully you'll get to go to a place where it's a store pick and you'll get to go in and they'll give you some samples of it. Because like I said, it is unique. It's very different. But it's a different to me that I can sip on. So uh, I recommend buying it. You know, this is going to be one, uh, you know, sip it or skip it. I would sip it. Just try it out. Give it a try. See what you think. Uh, you might like it. You might hate it. But anyway, it's good to be back. I appreciate you joining me. I'm going to start slamming some videos out, giving you some reviews, uh, giving you some ideas of some stuff to get and what not to get. So thanks again. I appreciate you watching. You all have a good evening.